Hey guys, Delphine here. Um, so I got some new fish today and I wanted to give you guys a video of all of my haul here. I know I haven't put up the video yet of my new puppy. I've been trying to get lots of footage for you guys so it's a nice big montage. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got here. So first up, I got five bumblebee shrimp here. I'm going to split them between this tank and my college tank which is going with me off to college. I'll show you that one in just a second. So these guys are kind of black and white striped. They might color up a little bit as they get older. There's a junior there. I also got some new assassin snails because this tank has always had a baby snail problem. So hopefully that'll help curb that a little bit. And then over in this tank, I don't know if I've shown you guys this tank yet. It's a three gallon half moon tank. It's really nice. And then it's got um, a rainbow bubbler there. I think it's advertised as a glowfish tank, but it's really cool. So that thing in the back there that's bubbling also has LEDs that change color. Um, I have it on a timer here so it only goes certain hours of the night for not too long because he's not a huge fan of it. Also I can adjust the amount of bubbles here with uh, these valves. I keep it pretty low because like I said Beta doesn't like it. Um, but this is my other Beta here. His name is Brutus. He is OSU Colors which is the school I'm going to so He's perfect for college. And the nice half moon tank will go well on my desk. It's not too big, but it's plenty big for him. Nice and roomy. And then for his tank, I got a little dwarf frog here, African dwarf frog. Probably call him something like Buckeye, I don't know. He's real cute. And then over here, I got some real tiny little baby shrimp. I don't know if it's gonna focus well on them, but they are blueberry shrimp. They're actually itty bitty. They haven't even colored up yet. They're so small. Uh, but these guys get a really vibrant blue when they get bigger. Uh, they're expensive, so I only got three of those guys, so hopefully they do well. Let's give you another shot of uh, Brutus here. He's real pretty. He's got the scarlet and gray going on. And he's a, he's a dragon scale too, so he's nice and reflective there. He's a real nice fish. So there's that for you guys. And then over here in the big tank, got a new crawfish. A pretty plain little guy, but he was so cheap it was hard to pass up. Um, and his name is Khan. Genghis Khan. Or Khan from Star Trek. Either or. So he's going to be going in here with the big boys. Um, and those guys usually hang out in the log here. I had another one, and I think he might still be floating around somewhere, but I haven't seen him in a while. So I went ahead and got a new guy. Because if they come out for too long, Oscar makes a quick meal of them. Though sometimes he can be terrified of them. It depends on the day. Yeah, so he's still getting huge. So that's my haul on that tank. Just while they're out, my dart frogs are out here, so I'll give you a quick little update on these guys. They're all doing super well. Uh, we had an issue there for a while where Christopher uh, was not coming out to eat, and he was getting really, really thin. Uh, that's him right there. As you can see, he's fattened right back up. I actually removed him from the tank and fed him separately so that he didn't feel intimidated by Apollo, who was head of the tank. Um, but then actually Ash took over. There he is hopping under the leaf there. So Ash is now head of the tank. Uh, Apollo was upset about that for a while. He stopped eating. Um, then he started developed the habit of jumping out of the tank. but. They're all doing very, very well now together, which is great. They're all eating very well. And he's just going to try and get out here, so I'm just going to block him. Yep, look at him. Yeah, so I'll close that up so he doesn't bail. Yeah, see, Christopher, now that he's nice and fed, they're all about the same weight. He's boldened up. Uh, but, you know, everyone's just a little bit terrified of Apollo. There's something not quite mentally right with him. If he's jumping out of the tank willingly. Yeah, but these guys are all doing really, really well. Um, I'll be feeding them here in a minute. That's why they're all looking at me. And then clearly I have to clean off this glass here. It's got some watermarks on it, but I can clean that up real quick. So those guys are doing well. Um, Freddy's also doing well. I'll do a video on him. Um, and Skittles and the new puppy are getting along swimmingly. They both sleep in the same room. So... Skittles is totally unafraid of the puppy, even when he pounces on the cage. They're pretty hilarious together. And then when he's napping, Skittles is napping. So they're real cute. Um, that'll be in the puppy montage. I'll be putting it together here shortly. Just trying to get a little bit more footage for you guys. 
the majority of it's Snapchat video, so it's little short clips. But yeah, so that's my haul that I got. Uh, these are all from RMS Aquaculture, uh, which I went to in my aquarium adventure video from a long time ago. See, like I said, we got the, the bumblebee shrimp there, assassin snails. This tank needs a good algae scrubbing because it's growing a lot of algae there on the side, as you can see. Even with the infestation of snails, there's one of my bumblebee gobies. Uh, just so you know, Ferb and Shark, my uh, Sonodontus petrocola cats, are doing excellently. Um, they're real, real good mates, friends, and probably lovers. I use that word for both meanings there. But yeah, they're getting along well. Junior is doing well as well. Beautiful rose tail. Oh, yep, there they are. Chasing each other around, being adorable. That one's Ferb. That one's Shark. Yep, so those guys are doing well. And then the new tank is doing excellently. I just bought this little fluval decor thing yesterday. It's kind of a fake log with some fake moss and then a little silk plant. And then I also bought him a little beta hammock, but he hasn't been using it. He likes to hang out on this side. I don't know why. Yeah, but he's very beautiful. He's eating well. So he's sitting there because that's where I feed him. Yeah, but just so you go, know, if you guys are looking to get a tank, this tank was a great deal. I got it off Amazon. Uh, like I said, it's three gallons, half moon tank. Um, you can either do Tetra, three gallon half moon, or Glowfish. Literally the same tank, um, just advertised differently. Um, and it came with pretty much everything. It came with uh, the filter unit, the bubbler. Uh, the only thing it didn't come with is the heater there. Um, it even came with, you know, the air pump there and all the the valves it came with. So yeah, it was a really great deal. 30, 30 bucks for pretty much everything you need besides a heater. It's a real great deal for a nice desk tan. Desk tank. Sorry about that. Can't speak today. So hopefully these guys get along well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul video. Like I said, I'll be putting up the puppy video soon. Um, I'll do an update on Freddy before I head off to college. I will be going off to college uh, Saturday is when I go, so exactly one week from now. Um, actually, six days. So, videos will stop then, but I'll try and do some Q&A video sort of thing if you guys have uh, pet questions. Um, I'll try and keep up with that. Uh, sort of make videos. I don't know, maybe I'll do a video every few weeks, every month, maybe uh, kind of featuring a certain pet, kind of just talk about care requirements for that animal, that sort of thing. I'll leave leave comments down below what you guys want to see while I'm at college, because I won't be able to do videos updating you on my pets, because they'll be here, hopefully doing well. Uh, but yeah, I'm taking this tank with me. It'll be my desk tank. I just bought a background for it, so it's not, you can't see my obnoxious treasures there. One last look at Brutus here. He's really beautiful. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, leave the comments below what you want to see while I'm away. Uh, I won't be able to show you any of this stuff, so we'll do our best. Um, thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see more.